So welcome back to Fishing Tutorials. We are on the bank of Gigantica Main Lake. Exactly. This is uh, Neil Spooner, who some of you, probably quite a lot of you, will know from Monster Carp, amongst other things. He does appear in other places. <laughs> um, you've caught carp all across the world. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Wherever we've been, we've been lucky enough to catch something. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I think you're a relatively authoritative voice on how should one of our viewers best give themselves a chance you know they've got a week of holiday yep they want to go they want to go into europe and want to catch big carp right where, where would you first of all where would you start right i think the first thing to do you've got to, if it's your first trip you don't want to do you might want to, but I would argue that you, your first trip, you don't want to go on a... Yeah, you might not want to go to a massive adventure that you don't know too much about. When I, my first trip abroad, mm. um, I did a lot of research into I wanted to go somewhere. Like you say, you, you're, you've saved up for it. It's a week's holiday, so you've got to make it count. So for me, my first trip would probably be France, mm -hmm. and it would probably want to one of the many commercial venues that are available. Okay, and you say France because of the distance or because of the style of fishing on offer? I think it's a bit of both. I think the distance, obviously it's a, it's a quick hop across the channel, mm. but I think you've got also, you've got lots and lots of choice and arguably it's got um, the highest, highest percentage of very large carp in Europe. Mm. Now lots of Europe have massive carp, but this, every lake you seem to drive past in France has got 50 pounders for fun, you know. <laughs> and, and I suppose the, it's the accessibility of these venues as well, because it, you, you know, you, you've booked your time off, off work or whatever, you want to know that you can turn up on that day and you can fish that lake, you've got either exactly a swim right. or you've got an exclusive lake booking. What, where, what would you do next? Would you um, research on a, uh, a particular venue? Would you be looking for exclusive booking or a you know, um, um, I what think... do you search out for someone going for, you know, yeah. uh, no, 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 no. first trip? Oh, single beep on the middle rod. Oh, oh it's exciting. Wouldn't that be nice to get a take on camera? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, sorry, back to what we were first saying. First trip. Um... So, first trip for me, um, I, I'm looking for, I'm looking for a guaranteed result or as near Damn it! Near guaranteed as it can possibly Not be. Not too much of a challenge. Exactly. You don't. You don't want to. You don't want to fork out your hard-earned cash to go somewhere that is maybe a bit too. That the, the level of fishing that you need to do might be fishing long range. Might be 120 yards for argument's sake, and you're used to fishing your lakes back home that are 50 yards for for want of a you know for as an example. So for somewhere like this, we've got the road lake. Yeah. Which has got more fish in it. Absolutely. Less distance fishing. Yep. And you can find those sorts of things out from a lot of the fisheries websites as well. You can. The beauty of a lot of the commercial lakes in France, or the beauty from us, from you know, us, us living in the UK, is that lots of them are run by a UK company. So you can often pick up the phone. <laughs> you can pick up the phone. Focus. <laughs> you, can, you can talk to somebody. You can ask the questions that you want to ask, i.e., how much bait do I need to bring? Yes. What size hook should I use? What type of rigs work best? All the bits that... Probably, you know, for, for us that do get to do it a lot, it comes very natural now. We know that we're going to use the rigs that we normally use. We, we've done all this research ahead of time. Mm. But you, the last thing you want to do is turn up to your trip. You turn up at the lake and the guy says, have you got X boilie with you? Or, or, can, or can you cast 150 exactly. yards and you go, oh, oh, too late. Oh, it's ain't the lake for you then. Yeah, <laughs> Straight yeah. away. So do your research. Pick a venue that is going to be um, suitable for your angling ability. Yeah, absolutely. And then you know, you're just about to leave or the night before you leave and you're trying to pack all the stuff you need. What, what are your sort of essentials? Like, do not leave at home when, when you're fishing. Okay. Uh, um, obviously, the monkey has to go everywhere. You that know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've, got, I've got a checklist I always go through. And it's even now doing it for, for quite a lot of years. It's rods, reels, bivvy, yeah. landing net, bank sticks. Bite alarms. I literally go through everything and make sure I've got enough tackle. Because I suppose if you arrive and you go, I didn't bring a spare spawn and you've cracked off. Exactly. You, there might not be a tackle shop nearby. Yeah, some of the commercials they have, you know, like the one we're sat on now, they do have a tackle shop yeah. on site. But I'd probably say that only 15 to 20% do. And mm. if, you're at, if you're at one of the ones, there's some lakes that you turn up to in France that literally the bailiff's there to greet you. And then you're 
and then that's it. Yeah. So and if you haven't, you don't got, want to be no. in essentials. And I know it's it, it's cliche, you know, stocking this, stocking that, and making sure you've got all of that. But if you don't do that, if you don't sort of be a good boy scout and be prepared, mm. you could very quickly spoil your your week's holiday, your week's fishing. Mm. And finally, the actual fishing, the technicals yep. of the the session. Mm -hmm. Is it that different from fishing in England? No, it really isn't. I think that's a key aspect that a lot of people get wrong. I, I'm very active on social media. I get lots and lots of questions from lots and lots of angles. I enjoy responding and taking sort of time to go through. And one of their biggest questions is, what, you know, what rig should I use when I go mm. to this lake? And I sort of try to take it back and say, look, the rig that you have the very most confidence in, what is that? So essentially, the thing that you're catching on well yeah, at home exactly. will you know okay. that, uh, and, and, and when they go in the tackle shop, do you have to go and buy size ones and twos? No, I, uh, I like, think... You know, how much do you do need to scale up? More really? often than not, I use size fours for a lot of my fishing in the That's UK. That's what I'm fishing with. And I'm fishing with them here as well. Yeah. I don't... If, if I'm going to... If I am going on, if you like, some of the real adventurous lakes like Cassian, um, yeah. Some of the big challenging in, yeah. snags, weed, extreme range. Yeah. Then you think, well, maybe a size two hook at extreme range makes sense, but that's mm. still as high as I ever go. Mm. Generally, I say lots of people in the UK use a, a four or a six, and I tend to say that a four or a six will still cover most yeah. of your your fishing abroad. I suppose if it's working for you on your syndicate or your local water, then they're still carp. They're the same species. They are exactly. As what they are feed the same way. Them. They do exactly the same thing. Cool. Well, thank you, Neil. I think oh, um, there was one. Um, there was one essential that you you didn't mention. Mosquito repellent. <laughs> I've got mine on. I'm, see, you're all right. I'm sat here going, oh, dearie me. Always ask your bailiff if there's a mosquito issue. <laughs> Are there mosquitoes? Yes or no? Find that out before you leave. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and be sure to uh, check out the rest of the fishing tutorials channel for plenty more helpful videos like this. Cheers, Neil. Any time, mate. Oh, handshake. Oh, we're almost, we're almost going. We're in the boat, shall we? Gangster. Yeah, what? <laughs>